Hello friends, in this presentation we will discuss one more gate previous years question. The concept is related to static scoping and dynamic scoping. The question is, let x be the value printed under static scoping and y be the value printed under dynamic scoping. Then what are the values of x and y? And four options have been given. Actually this is a pseudo code and we will convert this code into normal programming code. And let's, after converting we will, we can easily understand. This is a normal code of the given pseudo code. Actually, these two things that you need to understand. First one is they have asked you about static scoping. The second one is about dynamic scoping. First, we'll see about static scoping. Almost major programming languages like uh, popular programming languages like C, C++, Java follow or static scope programming languages. So what is this static scope? We'll see uh, in the explanation itself. This is a variable i of integer type and it is a global variable which variable global variable that is it is declared outside of all the functions then it is a global variable in the main method I'm initializing this uh, variable I I am initialize I'm declaring a variable outside but I'm initializing it inside a function that is now the I value is being 10 now inside the main function I'm calling a function called F now the control goes to the function definition that is immediately we have the definition and in the function method uh, and in the f method we are uh, a function we have a variable defined as i equal to 20 we have a variable defined as i equal to 20 and this is a local variable that has been declared inside this f method and this is a global variable and inside this f function we are we are having one more function called z and the control goes to g and we are trying to print the i value okay whenever it is trying to print i value in the case of static scope in this case of static scoping what will happen it will search for the definition present in the if it will search for the definition in that function so here definition of i is not available if, uh, first it will search whether the i is been defined in this g function or not if the definition of that particular variable is not available then it will search outside that particular block it will search outside that particular book outside there has been a definition for the variable i okay outside there is a variable defined with i and the value of that variable is 10 right now so under static scoping the value of the variable would be 10 okay so if you compile and run the output would be 10 only because c is a static scoped language the output is 10 but they are asking you about dynamic scoping as well so what is dynamic scoping see here there is a variable uh, here whenever the function is being called that is whenever the definition first uh, when if in the case of dynamic scoping what happens is that it will search for the definition of i in this particular function it is not available then here in this particular case it will not search outside it will not completely go out and search come out of the block and search then the next search will begin with the caller that is uh, who is being calling this function so who is calling this g function f method is calling f method f function is responsible for this function call of this so there it will search whether the definition is available or not directly it will not search for the global variables so there is a definition available with i there is a definition for i is available so if dynamic scoping is followed the output would be 20 and if static scoping is followed the output would be 10 okay so gender if you compile the output would be 10 only but if dynamic scoping is also followed in some programming languages if dynamic scoping is followed the out your output would be 20 okay so the option would be first one is uh, static scoping and y would be dynamic scoping so the correct answer is option c x equal to 10 and y equal to 20 hope you understand and okay friends this is it for now and thank you for watching this presentation see you in the next session